What's up everybody, it's your boy Mars Man here, and today we are doing an official crew review of Payday 3, and we all got to play it together. We have a lot of fun, really, footage that we had the other day when playing through really several hours of just us going through the different game aspects and enjoying the different levels together, trying out some different customizations. And so in this video, we're going to give our official impressions and review by giving the, our good, our bad, and our final rating, as well as whether or not you should buy this now, later, or not at all. So let's just jump right into the good. And when I'm thinking about the good, I think when you're looking for just a fun experience to just play the game, enjoy the game with friends or family, this is a good experience. It's just wacky gameplay and the multiple different ways to play makes it a very enjoyable experience, especially when in, in a short context of what you're trying to do in this. Like, I, I don't think you're going to enter into this game looking for the story component. We're really going to blow you away with making you feel emotionally tied to any of these heisters. But when you just play with some people around you and you're just like, hey, let's go do some wacky stuff and have some fun. This definitely has that feeling of just a good time when playing with people and I feel like they did a good job with giving you multiple ways to go and combat like these different missions. I feel like the, the fact that you can go about this in multiple different ways and if you play with a coordinated team, you can have a lot of fun. Listen, listen, before we enter in, we have to come up, we have to think of our code names, all right? My name is B Big D. It's my nickname, all right? That's my code name. Uh, all right, so D, <laughs> Dan, what's your, what's your code name? What are we referencing you by? Uh, uh shit. Hey, come back to me. Come back. All right. Uh uh Frank, you're the what's your code name? Uh, call me Dipstick. Dipstick. All right. Uh Chris, what's your name? Uh, um, mine's just gonna be MK, okay, just like <laughs> Mr. Mac. Okay. All right. All right, Dan, what's your code name? I'm, all right, I'm Eagle Turd. Eagle Turd, all right. <laughs> Eagle Turd, okay. All right. Um, so I think it's it, it, it also can go into the level of not you just sneaking around, but it can also go into you just causing mayhem. And just firing upon everybody going into some going to some real crap and uh it can get it can get pretty crazy at times especially when the difficulty wasn't even like we didn't play it necessarily on impossible difficulty but it, even that being the case it actually was difficult at times like you you couldn't just run and gun you actually had to be smart with your interactions with the different guards and different parts of the level but let's show somebody else let's look at what you feel like was a good here yeah, I mean, I thought, that, and kind of piggyback on what you said, the gameplay loop, right? So it's the, the continuous, when you go through a heist, you know, the gunplay, the sneaking around, the dealing with assaults, the trading uh, hostages, those were all like that gameplay loop was pretty fun. And the different heists um, had some uniqueness to it. So it wasn't just a copy paste, rob this bank in this location, rob this bank in this location. Like you had some different type of heists, which I thought were cool. So, you know, the, and like you just mentioned, you can go in sneaking, they had main objectives, they had side objectives. So it wasn't just a, you know, do one thing and be done with it. It was, you know, there's multiple things you can do. Um, and the difficulty, it wasn't an easy game either. So to me, those, all those things combined, I thought the gameplay loop was pretty strong. And if the goal of the developers was to give you a FPS uh, high simulator, I think they did a solid enough job in this with some co-op fun with your friends. Um, and the gunplay was relatively smooth. Yeah, I do agree with you there, man. I felt like I was the opening scene to uh, Batman uh, The Dark Knight with the Joker and his crew. I felt like yeah. maybe not as coordinated as that, but it was very... Uh, <laughs> we had the same... <laughs> Same look at everything. So, uh, Haki, what would you feel like is your good here? Yes, yeah, so I just think it's a unique game. So it kind of gives you an edge up uh, on, on all the other copy and paste games that are out today, like Call of Duty and, and Battlefield Overwatch. So definitely a unique title. Um, and like you guys both said, very fun to play with friends and families, uh, friends and family. We were able to kind of split up in a, in a group where we got two sets of brothers here. So we were able to split up brothers and, and kind of go out and do our own thing. So again, if you have some friends to play with, uh, it's a very unique and very fun game. Yeah, and uh, lastly, lawyer guy, what do you feel is your good with uh, with PA three? Yeah, so um, I have a few goods. Um, first off, the concept for the game is awesome. You and your squad are rolling up, trying to take as much as possible and get out, hopefully without getting shot. Um, it's like you're ten again. You and your brother are trying to sneak some chips ahoy's cookies at midnight without <laughs> you know waking your parents. Um, it's intense, you know. Um, I really enjoyed the complexity of the levels. I feel like I could go back and play the same scenario 10 times and do something different. You know, I, I got to do some solo mode and you 
your goals and tasks are different. Your code, the codes are in a different room. Um, the keys that you need to grab are on a different guard. Um, it, even the guards are roving in different places. You know, cameras are in different places. So it takes out the redundancy, which I thought was good. Um, this may not be realistic, but I like that you can enter like private areas without being masked up and pretend like you just took a wrong turn. You know, um, it did, you know, like, sorry, officer, I don't mean to be looking at the safe right now. I'm just trying to use the bathroom. You know, he just escorts you out instead of, you know, all of a sudden guns are out and, and you're trying to shoot. So it made it interesting because you can case the building and find interesting ways to steal more money without having to have a shootout. So. Yeah, I, I feel like that was one of the key things that we we discussed. That there's mo multiple different ways to play, and and I feel like the the I think the joke mentioned it. The different environments and different situations. I feel like that was what really made this game really fun. If you were into that type of stuff, if you ever really, really like movies like Ocean's Eleven or you know things like that, where you have some really you have to be scheme scheming the entire time and think of the ways you can get out of there without blowing your cover. And then there's us that goes, hey, let's just Let's just kill let's just kill this guy get it started and you know like there's a whole mixture of ways to play it um we had a lot of fun playing uh this game when it came to the different levels that we jumped into but with the good we do need to talk about the bad and and right off the bat i mean this is i think might be pretty obvious to everybody their servers are absolutely garbage i think that this is one of the most unfortunate things for payday 3 and i know that a lot of people like a lot of content creators were given invitations to go to uh, basically play payday 3 early and a lot of them had really high things to say like act man had a big a whole video discussing how great this game was and i don't necessarily think this game has really the components of being like a horrible game i think it actually has good roots but the fact that you can't like we were playing pretty well for most of the like the, the hours we were going through this game but but then all of a sudden at one point at night it just crashed it, like, you couldn't invite people you couldn't play with people anymore and I think having that happen on a daily basis is one of the dumbest and worst things that could happen for a game because you, if you have something good, you can't even enjoy it. You can't even play consistently. I feel like that is what the issue with Payday 3 for me is, is that, the, it, yeah, we had fun, but we, going into that whole, like, like, just going for that hunt to try to find a game or find connection is is just horrible, right? And I feel like I, I'd rather not, right? That's kind of the problem I had with that game. Uh, and so let's go, uh, uh, lawyer guy. Let's start with you this time. What do you think is a bad for for how you felt about this game? So obviously, I'm gonna double down on the on the server thing, but everyone's gonna say that. So um, one of the things I did not like is that you can't do certain things in the game unless you're masked up. Like for example, you can't grab a guard or choke him out or tie up a civilian unless you're masked up. And that didn't really make sense to me because why would I need a mask on and gun out to do those things? Um, and that kind of leads to my second big problem is that once you put your mask on, you can't take it off. Now, I, I've never played Payday before, so maybe this is common for, for players, but um, it didn't make sense to me because now once I decide to do certain things that I need my mask on for, um, I have to walk around with my mask and pistol out. So there goes my opportunity to play that idiot who made the wrong turn. And now I have to confront the guard with my gun out. Um, it, that. I didn't like that because it just makes it harder for the player with no real good reason. I can't now leave the building and maybe enter in a, in a more advantageous place or, you know, uh, walk on the street because, you know, I have my gun out. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like difficulty should be a setting and not really a gameplay flaw. And I feel like those are gameplay flaws that just make it harder. Now, you know what? I'll give you a perfect example. We were playing uh, Payday 3 and uh, I think it was one of the heist missions. Mm -hmm. We were trying to steal as much jewelry as possible. I'm entering in right through the front door of the jewelry store to like scope out what we can do. And I think one of you guys got caught and the end, and all of a sudden my guy's just putting on his mask like right off the bat, even though I didn't even tell me tell my guy to do so. It was just because we got caught, like we're, we're, in the, we're in the mix and all of a sudden my guy's putting on his mask for some dumb reason where it's like, I'm, I, I could have, I could have pretended to be a hostage and maybe tried to do something on the inside. Right. And try to you know what i mean like i agree with you it's just like one of those things where it's like why did you build this into the game you could have just had us not have to do that and it would have been fine you know so i do agree with you there so hockey what was a thing you felt was a bad for you in this game yes you guys both brought up uh, great points um and yeah i don't want to just stick with the servers uh the things that i had noticed were the graphics not being 
amazing and maybe the AI, uh, you know, not being super smart. Again, I don't think the game was, was going down that route, you know. Uh, it was more going down the route of, hey, get a team, uh, strategize, and go get the bread, you know. So I'm not going to harp too much on the AI is not having more than a fifth grade education, it seemed. But, uh, you know, give me a little bit more, uh, you know, a, or a better acting AI. And maybe when the difficulty goes up, that's what does happen. So that's pretty much it. But yeah, other than that, man, server is bad i mean we had ptsd from overwatch and battlefield so the servers really hit home and uh it's, i don't know how much this company's worth but you gotta really do some work on your servers please it's it falls into that modern gaming criteria and uh angelico what is the uh, bad you saw for this game yeah you guys aren't gonna double down but i'm doubling down on the servers i thought that was easily the number one bad thing every single day if you follow the payday 3 account they have had to come out and say that the servers are down and we're working on it um every day since launch right and it's gotten so bad that even the developers i think today the article of uh, pc gamers come out that they're going to be working on an offline mode because this is an always online game and when your server goes down you can't play the game right so they got to work on an offline mode and going on i think it's tomorrow which is tuesday the, the 26th and friday um at the end of the week they're turning off the game for three hours each day to try to fix the server so during a three-hour window you can't play this game right so that's where they're at and when you're an always online game you can only go as far as your servers take you and we've seen that like hockey has mentioned other games that are always online games and if the server doesn't work you can't play the game um outside of that i did like i mentioned before i really like the heist the different levels but there's only eight of them and payday 2 had 12 at launch so uh, already starting on the third installment and it has less content than the previous one at launch and it's a live service game so we're going into that modern game trope how well can they do these updates going forward so those are concerns yeah and if i was going to mention anything different than than the servers being just garbage i'd say the fact that like we get these half-assed cutscenes of trying to produce a, sto a story is it reminds me of and i'll use hockey's ptsd of redfall and i kind of look at that game as one of those hyped overhyped games of like hey look at these cool characters we have but then we just have like a diorama of doll of the person sitting still and we don't even know what the hell's really going on it's PowerPoint, kind of the same thing PowerPoint it's like a power, presentation, PowerPoint presentation and some yeah. guy saying a voice line like you know anyone can do that i i could make a game and take a picture of a guy and just me talk over him and type that at the very bottom what they said like anyone can do that can, can you make this more unique and make this more creative like if you're not going to go with the whole cutscene aspect then make your art design for these characters and the art design of the game even better like give us like some some art that like shifts like from spot to spot about the heist mission make us like go like how call of duty used to have those really in-depth like analysis of the mission and what you're going to do like you should make it almost like that type of type of game where they're talking over the mission and they talk about what their heist their plan is going to be or like things something along those lines but they didn't yeah. do that at all so yeah read this quickly that's the mission read this fast to listen to this one guy say one thing about it we're gonna steal a lot of money and let's move on like that's really what they're gonna that's what they say for every single thing so with that being said well, let's jump now to our final verdicts and in this part we're gonna talk really about our ratings as well as whether i should buy this now later or not at all so i'll start first I think when I'm looking at Payday 3, it's one of those games that you can enjoy when playing with others and it has some good components to it that, that make it fun to play. Like a lot of different variable guns, a lot of customizations. There's uh, some fun missions that you can play with people, but I feel like the bad outweigh the good and I feel like it kind of hinders the performance of the game because of the fact that it's only online, servers are broken, and there, there's a lot of like, like not as much content as you would want for this game and i feel like the fact that it's live service really does hinder the progress that this game could have and i think in its current state i'm gonna give it a six and a half out of ten i feel like it's a game that is is struggling to just function and if it had more levels it had stable servers then i'd probably go closer to a seven and a half because it, it matches a fun game to play but it's limited on what you're gonna be doing with it like i feel like it's still a solid game it has roots in it which make it like it get better i feel like this is a six and a half at the time it could probably get to that seven and a half it actually fixes servers for once and actually like progresses the right way but 
I'm going to six and a half, and I'm going to say buy later. Wait for this game to fix itself first, then see when they when the, how it, how it goes. And obviously, when it starts dropping more content, I feel like it's going to be a better game all around. But I feel like the servers part is essential. You, you buying this game now is useless. I mean, granted, you know, Game Pass is a solid option, but even then, like, it's not worth playing it in the very beginning when servers are going to be in and out all the time. So, you know, what you go play for an hour and then the servers crash, like, there's no point in that. So, buy later for me. That would be my my pick. So, uh, Legilico, what what would you say is your rating, and should you buy this now, later, or not at all? Yeah, I'm pretty close to you. When I'm actually playing the game, I have this at a seven and a half, but because of how bad the servers are, you have to punish. Like, you can't ignore that stuff. And this game is does have bugs. It does have glitches. And Haki mentioned it's not, like, graphically amazing. So, you know, like, if you have all these other things, you can maybe forgive a little bit of the server stuff. But because of the server things, I'm down to a 6.0 out of 10. Um, so when I actually get to play it and play it with you guys, I felt at times this was a slightly above average game. Um, but because of the servers, I, I think you got to knock some serious points off. I'm at a six. Um, again, I like the missions, but the server stuff is unacceptable. And uh, if you're an online only and you screw up that bad on the servers, you deserve to get uh, called out. So I'm giving it a six. I'm a buy later as well. It's $40 price tag. Although there are some crazy folks that want the silver edition for 70 and the gold edition for 90 to get those season passes. So those are some wild numbers, but at $40, even at $40 and even on game pass, I'm a buy later. Uh, hockey, what was your rating and should we buy this now later or not at all? Yeah. So listen, I had a lot of fun playing with you guys. So I actually have this rated a little higher than both of you. I have it at a 7.2. But I'm still uh, on the fence there. Uh, I do have it. If the graphics, or excuse me, if the um, service were there, I had it at uh, like a seven-seven. But like Langella Hill said, the graphics really are going to bring it down. So <clears throat> got it at seven-two. Uh, it's going to be a buy later, even with Game Pass. Yeah, it's going to be hard to say that it's going to be buy later, um, just because it's not playable at sometimes. So uh, you know, get it together, and uh, I'd love to hop back on. Yeah, and uh, Lawyer Guy, what do you think for your rating? Should we buy this now, later, or not at all? Listen, I want to give this game a two right now. A two. Because we want to play a game, and this game is not a full game yet. Right? Like, they take time to develop a game, they package it, they give it to us as consumers, and we can't even play it. Right? So I want to give this a two. But, playing it as we played it, um... The concept is great. There's really fun aspects to the game, but they don't outweigh some of the silly limitations that you have that you know we mentioned earlier with, hey, I mask up, I can no longer unmask, I'm limited in what I can do. My teammates have to mask when I somehow get caught on the second floor, why, right? So those are kind of silly limitations for me. Um, so putting aside all the problems that they have, I think they have so much potential with this game, but it's just incomplete. So I, I want to give it a six right now. I'm also scared, uh, I was mentioned earlier, with the amount of levels. Um, they're complex, but if I've played for a week or two, am I going to get bored of those levels? Yeah. Nervous about that, but I can't tell you if I have because I can't play the game enough, right? <laughs> so I'm giving it a yeah. six, but I want to give it a two really bad. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I would... I agree with you guys. I feel like we're, we're all kind of in the general same ballpark here. But what do you guys think about Payday 3? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman along with the Marsman crew signing off. Peace out, guys. <laughs>